Supplemental restraint systems can be extremely dangerous. When working on or around these systems, always assume the system has not been disabled. Always follow manufacturer's recommendations and procedures. If in doubt, do not touch the system. Hi, I'm Clint. Welcome to Automate. When diagnosing any problem in an SRS or supplemental restraint system, always follow the manufacturer's procedures for disabling and handling airbag components. We need to isolate the short to voltage to either the airbag, harness and connectors, clock spring, or the SRS control module. Insert an airbag simulator or dummy load in place of the airbag. Re-enable the SRS and rotate the steering wheel from lock to lock, then recheck the DTC status. If the fault code changed to history, then the airbag assembly may be at fault. If the DTC changed to current while rotating the wheel, then further inspection of the vehicle clock spring will be required. If you would like to continue learning about this topic and get complete access to our extensive video library, you need an Automate membership. Visit our website and get started on a better future with better training.